So we had the SID Display Week, and uh, who are you? My name is Thomas Blazy. I'm the VP of Global Marketing at Silvaco. So what does Silvaco do? Well, Silvaco is uh, the number one provider for design tools for the display industry. So all the panels you see here on the show, there's a good chance that at least uh, one of our tools has been, has been touched in order to design those panels. So what kind of tools? Uh, it starts from TCAT. TCAT is a mechanical uh, material simulator. Uh, where you can do stress analysis, reliability analysis for your material to use for your different panels, whether it's OLED, micro LED, or TFT. Then uh, it goes into the design of the panels, which basically is a, a layout. Yeah. So, um, does it look a little bit like this tool right here? Is this one of your tools? Yes, this is, uh, sorry. <laughs> This is a, um, a typical analysis a, a designer of a, a display would do in our TCAD environment. Um, it, it looks at, uh, this is actually a, a PowerPoint showing the... For flexible yeah. display. So they can analyze the material behavior of a flexible display yeah. and what kind of impact it has on, uh, on, the, um, on the, the light emissions and things like that. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted. Uh, and then uh, over there, you're showing animations of... Uh, yeah. This is, you know, actually, uh, yeah. to be honest, I was inspired by your video last year oh, yeah? because you came to our booth and said, why are you here? What are you doing? And it was very hard for us to explain it to you. So we put this video together, which pretty much uh, shows exactly what our tools are doing. Um, the whole design flow um, from beginning of TCAT into the design with a layout, extraction of the layout, and then circuit simulation. As a matter, matter of fact, um, the video starts in a moment again, and uh, you will see uh, how you dive into yeah. the display. Let me stand right here. Okay. So, um, so, so, our display, our software is used by many of the leading display manufacturers in the world, and uh, in order to know what we drill a hole in the display, and it starts with the layout, uh, where you lay out your pixels. Um, you do uh, electrical analysis of your layout. Um, the tool is called uh, Expert, it's our layout editor. And we have specific features built in our layout editor for display because we work with display companies for a very long time. Uh, Clever is a RC extractor, so you can extract the parasitics. Um, you can have uh, any arbitrary shape where you can extract R and Cs in order to do electrical uh, verification. Gateway is our schematic editor. Instead of uh, drawing all the pixels uh, by hand, you have a hierarchical approach. So you, 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 you basically draw the transistors and resistors for one pixel, and then build a hierarchical system. And you can basically build your netlist from that. Uh, uh, victory device, what you see here is one pixel of an organic uh, LED. Uh, so the engineers who are using this can do the um, verification of uh, the optical traits and the electrical traits of each of the, the, the individual pixels. Utmost is a tool which allows you to extract parameters either out of a measured um, uh, data from, a, from an actual piece of silicon or uh, from our IV curves out of TCAD. And then it goes into the circuit simulation, which is Smart Spice. Um, so where you can do all your electrical verification of your tool. Um, as the next, the next tool is uh, INBAR. INBAR is where you do your uh, reliability and thermal analysis. So you can see where the hotspots are on your display. Uh, you make sure that your parasitics are correct. You make sure that your, your metal lines are thick enough to transfer the current to the individual pixels. So that's a very important tool our customers are using. And here you see uh, a micro LED uh, panel and we zoom out and you have gotten an overview of all the tools our customers are using to design this place. So it's LCD, OLED, micro LED? TFT, uh, micro LED, yes. Everything? Everything. How, how come? How can you be involved in everything? We have been uh, working with um, display companies now yeah. for several years. So we started early with them. Um, we have been jointly developing uh, some of the technology together with our customers and uh, we are the number one supplier of EDA tools for the display industry. No one wants EDA for display? Yes. But how about, uh, uh, are you also EDA for other things? Yes, like, we do. Like CPU, chipset? Yes, uh, we, we have a whole set of tools to design 
uh, chips all the way down to FinFETs, uh, 5 and 7 nanometers. We have uh, additional tools which we, do, we don't showcase here, such as uh, machine learning tools. We have a, a model, um, a tech modeler tool, which use uh, neural networks to uh, create behavioral models for spice simulations, for materials which don't fit into in a given uh, spice, um, uh, um, spice model. Uh, we also have a tool called Variation Manager, very, uh, Varman. Varman is a tool which does a statistical analysis um, of uh, the different variations of the design in order to get a high sigma. And that's a, a tool which is very heavily used by uh, FinFET and, and consumer products. So uh, you're also big in many different areas, not just displays. That's correct. And but you are the specialist in displays? Or? We are the number one in displays and we also have a, a large IP portfolio. Uh, we have different IPs. Uh, we actually work with uh, some partners together and commercialize their IPs. So we have an IP library. You can go to our website and check out our IP, uh, such as IC3. We have an IC3 standard, which is licensed by uh, quite a few of, of our customers. We were the first who had uh, silicon out there. So we are quite advanced on the, on the IP side too. And so uh, here at the display, uh, SID Display Week, the whole display industry is talking with you. What yes. are you talking about? Um, I mean, we had our suites filled every day. Um, we had all the top suppliers yeah. in our suites. Let me peek in and see whether there's a meeting going on right now. Yeah, sorry, there's a meeting Maybe. going on right now. But, uh, talking about all these, uh, all these things going on here, active matrix, yes. uh, full panel layout, right. driver circuit right. design, LED. Yeah. It's, uh, how, how, do you, how, how do you manage to have tools about all this and where are you based? We are based in Santa Clara, uh, that's our headquarter, but we have offices around the world. So we have R&D facilities in uh, Vienna, in Austria, in Grenoble, in France, um, in Denmark. Um, we basically... In Copenhagen or Aarhus? Or? In Copenhagen, yes, yeah. that's correct. Uh, we have uh, sales offices in uh, Asia. We are very focused on the Asian market, as you can imagine, uh, in display. We have offices in uh, Singapore, in... Um, uh, in Tokyo and Kyoto, we have two offices in Japan, and we have a large office in uh, Taiwan, close, right at the doorstep of TSMC, which is the largest foundry in the world. And uh, when was uh, Silvaco uh, uh, founded? Silvaco was founded uh, almost uh, 34 years ago now, uh, in 2016, I guess. We celebrated our 30th anniversary. Uh, the company was founded by uh, a, a Silicon Valley icon, Ivan Piesic. Uh, the company is still privately owned by his family. Um, and uh, we're doing very well and uh, are growing. Uh, our goal was to grow the co to double the size of the company in three years and we are in our third year and we are um, uh, close to achieving that goal. All right. And uh, so in the future, there's just more and more stuff to be done. Like, uh, so the micro LED, uh, you're going to find ways to help make it happen better. That's right. right. As you know, there are always new materials uh, used for display and we develop models for those materials. We, we basically use um, um, mathematical algorithms to um, build the behavior of those materials into our software. Um, actually, um, we have a, a whole floor of PhDs in the company, uh, mostly physicists and uh, computer science, who do the work on the tools. So, uh, as soon as they get the PhD, you get them hired directly? Actually, uh, that's a good question because we do work very closely with the universities. Um, so we, we have a university program, so we, have, uh, uh, we basically give our tools to universities for a very large discount and work with them uh, um, very early. We have a, a few uh, people who work on their PhD thesis who work with our tools and that's also something where we recruit afterwards or we get uh, business because uh, those people are recruited by our customers. And the companies that uh, that work in this space, they're very happy to work with you, right? It's, that's it's correct. It's going to be a nice partnership. That's, that's there's that's like right. support going on, right. and also uh, interactions. That's right. We sharing have of IP sometimes and stuff. Uh, sharing of IP, yes. Like if they have an idea for you, maybe they we give them a discount if you in they integrate their IP with you or something. We, we do uh, have uh, technology partnerships where we basically collaborate uh, on developing new materials or, or new models. That's correct, yes. Ixo, Quantum Dot, everything? Everything, yes. Memory? Uh, memory, we, we do have a few tools um, on the memory side. For example, our uh, variation manager, Barman, uh, is uh, um, improving uh, the yield performance um, on large memories too.